Hi, thank you for clicking on this video. I'm trying to build a channel on theme parks mostly and other stuff. Um, I am here in Anaheim. I'm staying at the Astoria Inn and Suites. So I'll get to show you the room. I'll show you a bit of the property, uh, actually just the pool, and also the distance it takes, the time, the time it takes to walk from here all the way to Disneyland. And uh, of course, after that, we're going to get to hang out at Disneyland. So um, let's go. They have a nice little pool area here. It's not bad. Small, but clean and neat. Okay, so we're going to check out the room, but I got to tell you first that they charge a $10 fee plus tax, so it's $11.50, just to park every day. So um, in that case, tomorrow, I'll probably drive out and just find some street parking because if you find street parking, it's about the same distance. Okay, well, here's the room. You guys are gonna see the room for the first time like I am. Ah, uh, that's not too bad. I paid just a little over a hundred on uh, Priceline with all the taxes and everything. Um, where's the bathroom right here? Okay. I mean, if there's multiple people sharing it, it's not too bad. Well, that wasn't too bad. Almost 16 minutes, about 15 minutes and a half. And um, yeah, not too terrible. Anyways, let's get through security and go in Disneyland. You know what? Daily Woo is right. Going through security here is just so much more stressful than it is in Florida. I mean, I get it, whatever. It's just annoying. <laughs> okay, let's not be negative because I I have a Disneyland. Now, what was the last time I was in Disneyland? I don't remember. Has it been like two years? Wow. Oh man, I'm all dark. People need to see me. Anyway, since I want to get some ride footage, I am going to switch to the phone and this is going to go on my, uh, what is it? Hand strap? I forgot what the word is. Anyways, let's go. Okay. Well, here we are in Disneyland and, um, Every time I make a Disneyland video, I don't get a lot of views. A small amount, even for the minute amount of subscribers I have at the moment. So, I suspect that that's because there's a lot of vloggers that come here. Hmm. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to be goal-oriented. I want to go to Star Wars Rise of the Resistance. See, I came in, it's like 1.30 right now, so... Can I go in without any lightning lane or whatever? And speaking of lightning lane, I gotta figure out how that works. Okay, let's figure out how lightning lane works. Click on this. It's not too complicated. And then you come here and you see times and you select them. Okay, that's simple. But the only problem is that you don't get to do that with Rise of the Resistance. You have to buy a lightning lane that pass for that. So how much does that cost? 
$26 if I want a lightning lane for Star Wars Rise of the Resistance. Okay, I don't think that's happening. Future BBG here, now that I have more experience using lightning lane. Um, when you use one up, you can get another one two hours later if the other one hasn't popped up yet. Otherwise, if you don't have one active, as soon as you use it, you can pop another one in. Um, there's two rides where you have to pay. They don't use that. It's uh, Radiator Springs and Rise of the Resistance. And once you've used it, you can't use it on the same ride again. So, hope that helps. Well, I've never seen this. Whoa! Don't kill yourself. Well, here I am walking towards the castle. Always a wonderful sight to see. It's crowded, but for Disneyland standards, it's actually not that crowded. No matter when I come here, there's always a lot of people. I mean, today's a weekday. It's Tuesday, August 27th. So school's already started, but it seems like people always find a reason to come here. Well, here's the river boat, which will disappear in Walt Disney World soon. Oh, it's much cooler here anyways. Well, here is Rise of the Resistance. Now, I've noticed they're not posting how long the wait is. Hey, do you know how, lo how long is the wait? 20 minutes. Oh, I didn't even see it there. I feel foolish now. So they do post the time. It's just that I didn't see it because it was being hidden by a tree. Okay, well, 40 minutes is not that long. Um, the longest I've ever waited is two and a half hours for a Batman clone. Yeah, I know, it's, it's kind of a lame roller coaster now, but back in the day, we thought it was the coolest thing ever back home in Montreal. Okay, so we're in the room that gives you the intro, which I would consider the start of the room, and only 22 minutes went by, so that's great. Oh, it's about to start. I love this part. Here's the deal. If you've never been on this ride and you plan to be, I would skip my video of this because it's so much better to go on this when you've had no spoilers. Okay, so it's either you've already been on this or you don't care about spoilers, but it doesn't matter. I know everything that's gonna happen and I still love this ride. This is completely awesome, especially this part. <laughs> And it actually feels like you're flying off somewhere. <laughs> uh oh. This is TR 141. We are a civilian vessel. By whose authority are we being detained? By the authority of the First Order Resistance Scum. Okay, the coolness level of this part. Just. Wow. Enemies of the First Order, we will soon snuff out your meager resistance. You chose the wrong side, and now you will pay. Okay, this is the actual ride. GoPro time. Tell them it's a prisoner transfer. Did it work? Good. Now get a move on. There's a clear path to the turbo lifts at the end of the hallway. You're not authorized. Wait, it's one of the prisoners. Always a good ride. <laughs> 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 
Yeah. Okay, well that was a fun ride. Always enjoyable. <sighs> well, let me check out this Star Wars gear. Man, I have a big head. I don't think any of these fit on me. Are these for sale? Whoa. It is. Oh. It's only 80 bucks. That's not too bad. Okay, it's bad, but I thought it'd be worse. Oh, cool. I remember doing this. I even have a video of me doing this. Last time I was at Disney, I think. Okay, so we've got uh, Tiana's Bayou Adventure that's going to replace Splash Mountain. And here is Haunted Mansion. Whoa. So many people waiting for Haunted Mansion. How long is that wait? Okay, I thought I was going to have to make a dining reservation, but I went to the Blue Bayou restaurant and it turns out they have a space for one person. So I'm really excited. There's something there that I really like to eat. Well, I hope it's still there. What? I just want to confirm there's no food allergies, dietary restrictions. No, no food allergies. Okay. Nothing. I'm fine. Okay, watch my steps. See, you got Pirates of Caribbean over there. Awesome. Thank you very much. Okay, so um, here is the menu. Um, what am I hoping for? Oh, the Monte Cristo. That's what I was hoping for. Okay, it finally arrived. The Monte Cristo. It's kind of like a bread and ham. It tastes so good. Well, that was delicious, but I don't think I'd get that again because I didn't really like the chips. They were kind of stale. I don't remember chips being there last time. Anyways, yeah, when you spend like $33 on somebody, on something, you shouldn't get like cheap Lay's chips on the side. Here's another shot of the uh, riverboat going by. You know what? Space Mountain is closed for refurbishment. That always happens to me. I go to a park and my favorite ride is under refurbishment. Urgh. I thought I'd satisfy my need for roller coasterism by going on a Big Thunder Railroad, but it's closed right now, so we have to get on it later. Okay, um, hmm. Matterhorn has a one hour wait. Okay, well, let's see what else I could try. Okay, well, here I am walking through uh, Fantasyland. What is it about Peter Pan's flight? I mean, why, why is it always at least like 40 minute wait? Okay, well, let us go to Toontown. Well, the reason to go to Toontown was to go to Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, which I've never been in. Yeah, I mean, when I went to Florida, the line for Minnie's Railway, Mickey Minnie's Railway, man, I always stumble my words. <laughs> the line for that was so long I couldn't get on it, and I haven't been here since they built this. Oh, the wait time's 20 minutes, so hopefully it really is. Dude, this is great theming. <laughs> my god, how long is this queue? I mean, the queue itself is a ride. And here we go. Of course, there's a pre-show. That's how it works. There's always a pre-show. Oh, wow, that is pretty cool. I didn't expect that at all. Oh, I see. It's like um, a train or something. Oh, we're getting on now. I don't think this ride calls for the GoPro because I don't expect it to be very, uh, what's the word, moving like? I like that. That was actually kind of fun. I've heard negative things about it, but I enjoyed myself. I mean, it's a kid's ride. What do you expect? 
Okay, everyone, there's gonna be a huge time jump because I'm gonna walk back to the hotel room and rest a bit, so I'll see you guys later. Super time jump. Okay, so went to the hotel room and came back, and now we're gonna go back into Disneyland, but behind me, California Adventure. People are having fun at the Oogie Boogie Bash, which I will not get to do because I didn't get a ticket. But next year, I promise, as soon as they're on sale, I will jump on the opportunity. Anyway, let's go into Disneyland. On the latest ep episode of the BBG at Disneyland, I went to Big Thunder Mountain and it wasn't working, so I couldn't use my lightning lane. So if it's working now, we should go on now. Ah, uh, forget it. I'm just using the uh, earbuds. That uh, lavalier is just too scratchy, too much sta static. I guess I'm stuck with having earbuds forever. Maybe it should be my, like my trademark or something. So I was hoping that the number of people would go down, but it looks like it's increased because California Adventure has closed because of Oogie Boogie Bash. So I guess everyone's coming here. But I do have a couple of um, lightning lanes to use, so I will use that. Well, I'm on the, in the line for uh, Big Thunder Mountain, which I can't wait because I've been itching to get on this coaster all day long since I am sadly disappointed that uh, Space Mountain is out. Man, I was looking forward to Space Mountain. And yes, I am glad that I got a lightning lane. Oh, well, here comes the train. Can't wait to get on. I can barely fit in this. Look at this. I always have to cross my legs when I'm riding like that. Oh, there we go. Oh, no! No! Oh! Whoa! Oh. It's going up again. Turtles! Oh, that was great. I loved it. Such a great ride. It's like not too hard, but not too soft. Perfect. Wow, the crowds. Okay, so I wanted this to be more focused today instead of me just running around. But what were the three things I wanted to do? Uh, yeah, get on Rise of the Resistance. Already did that. And uh, what was the other one? Oh, yeah, show you the lightning lane. I showed you that. And get a dining reservation, but I didn't do that because I chose to just go to a Blue Bio restaurant. Okay, so I guess we're just riding rides. Okay, well, when you see the cords and you see the people standing around, it means there's gonna be a parade. But now nah, we're riding rides today. Okay, so let us get on Matterhorn. Okay, so Matterhorn has a single rider line, but looks like it's gonna be long. Okay, looks like the single rider line's gonna be a wait. Man, it's getting dark now. You can't see my beautiful face. I don't know if you know this, but um, Matterhorn is the exact same ride as Space Mountain in Florida. Now, being the single line didn't really help me. It took me almost an hour. Okay, well, I'm getting on now. Oh, 
Okay, I'm finally on, but I don't think I'll be able to get much uh, ride footage because um, it's kind of dark. There you go. So we'll see what happens. Oh, here we go. Dark, dark, dark. Yeah, it was too dark to see anything. But whatever, I'll edit some parts of it. <sighs> it is a fun ride though. Well, that's the uh, Finding Nemo submarine voyage, which is actually pretty good. I have a video of it, I went on it. Oh, there's Autopia. It's kind of dark, you can't really see, but that's the queue. Autopia, powered by Honda. At least there's enough light here so I could show you guys something. Look, some light, finally. Yeah, I was looking at the uh, Tomorrowland railway station and there's nothing there, so... I guess that's closed too. Too bad, I want to go on that. Welcome, everybody. Hey, yeah, just me. Uh, hey, is the railroad closed? Yeah, they're refurbishing right now. Oh, okay. Oh, well. Too bad. Okay, I'm just about to go on. I mean, what could be so exciting about Autopia, right? Okay, oh! Wow, well, this is going faster than I thought. Okay, so, oh. Well, um, what do I say? It's not really that exciting, just look at this. Oh man, I can't even turn the camera around here. There, that's what you see. Let me turn this so you guys can see in front. Oh! But I mean, the thing actually steers itself. You don't even need to like turn it. The more footage for you. This ride is lasting longer than I thought. It's actually quite entertaining. Ah, traffic jam. We must be approaching the end. Yeah, I see it right there. More rides before we go. Yeah, more rides before we go. I am thirsty. I need something to drink. Oh, exactly what I'm looking for. A water fountain. Fill up the water bottle. Yes. Actually, there's something I'm craving for. I'm gonna see if it's still there. This, oh man, I just spilled it. <laughs> this is called a Baylor Run Juice. It's like seven bucks, but it tastes so good. I think it's like pineapple juice and some other stuff. Here is Smuggler's Run. Not my favorite ride, but I got a lightning lane, so let's just go and have a fun time. Corridors, like entering to a dungeon. Yeah, just me. Oh. Left side. I don't remember this area at all. Oh, okay. You don't see that when you go through single uh, right away. I don't get to be at that like Star Wars testing. Oh, let's take a selfie. Oh well. Okay. I am a gunner. We do need to put on our speed because there's no traffic. I guess I just pressed buttons. I don't want you Well, so much for Smuggler's Run. It is just one big video game. Are you still watching this video? Wow. You know, I look at my um, statistics and the average that people watch my videos is like a minute and a half. So I shouldn't really like front load everything. But I mean, if you're still here, thank you. Um, I could use the watch time and... It's nice to know that I'm not going at theme parks by myself. Well, here's an interesting dilemma. It looks like my group is called for Haunted Mansion. Yeah, there's a virtual queue for Haunted Mansion. I didn't think I'd get in. But I got my lightning laid for Indiana Jones. Ooh. What shall I do? Indiana Jones it is. Damn, it is really dark in here. I doubt that my GoPro will be able to pick up any ride footage at all. Well, we'll see. 
It's like going through a dungeon in Dungeons and Dragons. They really should have like a Halloween maze in here. It'd be super awesome. I mean, they could just have like one maze. Something for us Halloween lovers. Oh yeah, they have an Oogie Boogie Bash, which of course I have to remind myself that I can't go to. Okay, lunchtime has come, we're going in! Well, I'm glad I decided to go to Indiana Jones. Love that ride. Now, let's see if I could get into Haunted Mansion. Well, I'm approaching Haunted Mansion. Let's hope they respect my uh, cue call. So, what is this like? Nightmare Before Christmas decorations? Yes. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I still haven't seen that movie. You should, it's you Okay, I will. Well, I'm really behind. I just saw Princess Bride yesterday. Get out of town. No, I'm, I'm serious. You better not touch that film and do a review. <laughs> I know, it, it's really good. I don't know why it took me so long to watch it. It's time for our holiday tale to begin. There's, There's that no famous room. Back. You all know what happens here. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm getting on now. Well, that was great. Just loved it. I, I can't believe that I enjoyed it that much. Anyways, the night is ending, so it's time to say goodbye. And um, if you made it this far, I don't believe anybody makes it to the end of my videos, but if you did, thank you very much. Let's be realistic. I'll never be like Tim Tracker. I'll never be like Adam DeWoo. Um, but I enjoy making videos and just the fact that there's at least one person who watches my videos means a lot to me. So anyways, I went to Hollywood. So check out that video where I go to Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum. And um, thank you very much. I am the BBG.